Greetings everyone and welcome back. So the other day I was patrolling the Cosmodrome when I found this guy, a Queenbreaker Captain. When I killed him I got a Grimoire card, and when I looked at the Grimoire card on Bungie.net, I discovered there were more fallen targets to be found, so I spent the next few hours tracking all of the bounties. Now these fallen targets are going to be for future Queen's bounties that will become available at Pet Revenge over the next few weeks when the bounties refresh, but you can kill them now and get some extra Grimoire early. So today I'm going to be showing you where to find all of these targets. So starting off, the first three can be found in the Cosmodrome. As soon as you spawn, head to the right into Dock 13, the building between the starting area and the Divide, the same location as the first story mission. Inside will be a group of Fallen, and if you just hang around for a second, the Queen Breaker Captain will show up. Kill him and you will get a Grimoire card. From here you can head to the next target who is located in the Blast, the area in which you fight the fallen Devil Walker during the Devil's Lair Strike. So make your way through the Divide into the spawn area for the Devil's Lair Strike and follow the path you would normally take through the Strike. Go past the Falling and Hive battling each other, through the lasers and through the refinery until you come out at the Blast. Then immediately go left, and in this building you will find the Wolf Enforcer target. Quickly dismantle them and move on to the next target. From here you can head back the way you came, and when you re-enter the area with the Fallen and Hive fighting each other, you can go left and into these Hive Caves that will lead you through the grottos. When you come out of the Hive Cedar ship on the other side, Follow the road and if you look along the side, you will find a small side path that will lead you to a group of invisible fallen known as the Silent Fang. Kill them and move on to the next location. Next we are going to the moon. The first target can be found outside the Temple of Crota, which is the same location as the farming spot on the Dark Beyond story mission and the spawn location for the new strike, the Shadow Thief. From the spawn area in patrol, follow the accelerator in Archer's line and head towards the Anchor of Light. Past this group of Fallen hanging around this building is a pathway that leads you through a valley and to the location. Just stick to the right wall and you will find this hidden path and at the top of the path is the High Servitor. For the next target, you will have to go to the Hellmouth. It is possible to get to the next target from the Temple of Crota, but I just went to the end of the Hellmouth. Make your way through the Hellmouth the same way as you would going through the Summer Pit Strike until you reach this area. From here, go right and work your way down the twist and turn to this tunnel where you will come to the Well's Room, and this is where the Twisted Fang is located. For the final three targets, we are going to Venus. For the first one, you want to make your way to the Ishtar Academy. From the spawn point, turn into this building once you reach the statue on the Shattered Coast. You might want to try and keep your Sparrow, if possible, to get through this area and back as fast as possible, as you can't summon your Sparrow here. Once you reach the other side with the downed Fallen Skiff, you basically want to follow the Nexus Strike, past these Hobgoblins and into this first area, where you encounter the three fallen waves. Go right and the repeater shank will be located in this building. Now go left, proceed along the Ishtar cliffs, past the vault of glass and find this entrance. This will take you to campus 9. On the left will be a group of Vex, and on the other side of this building will be the Wolves Guard, carrying a Scorch Cannon. Yes. 
Now we are on to the final target. The final target is located near the Vex Gate Lord, so you can continue from Campus 9 and through all of these Vex Warp Gates. Make sure to watch out for the Vex Hobgoblins because they will hurt you if you aren't careful. When you've made it to the Vex Gate Lord location, go around to the other side and there'll be a stone stairway and at the top will be the Aether Runner Servitor. So that's how you find the other 8 bounties. Now you know for future reference when the bounties for these targets become available. Now there are 4 more targets listed in the Grimoire, which presumably can only spawn as wolf events, that can only activate once the bounties are available, similar to Drevis, Beltrix and Orbix 11. Once Petra does grant these bounties, I'll make another video on their locations. So thank you all very much for watching, I really hope this video helps you out, and I'll talk to you again soon.